Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. Coming out to another NCAA tournament recap from the round of 64 here. Uh, another one of the early games pitted Butler at 6 seed uh, versus Bucknell, the 11 seed. Uh, Butler held off Bucknell 68-56. And this is really a tale of two halves for both teams because uh, both teams struggled in the first half. It was only 21-14 Butler um, at the end of the first half. They come into the second half. Bucknell goes on a very uh, crazy run where they actually were only down one, 43-42, with about seven minutes to go. And then we saw from Butler was them – be exceptional from the free throw line, going 18 of 20 in the last five minutes of the game from the free throw line uh, to really separate themselves from Bucknell and get the win. Uh, you know, Bucknell, when it came down to it, they got some good performances out of some players, uh, most notably Joe Willman, who scored uh, 20 points in the game. But what really hurt them is. Patriot League MVP and Bucknell's all-time leading scorer, Mike Muscala, only scored nine points. He can never really get going here in this game. Uh, it was only the second time all year he didn't score double digits. And uh, you saw Butler's defense just swarming to him. I think you know Butler's physical play, Butler, Butler's relentlessness, uh, and Muscala just having an off day in general all contributed to that. And you know when you get into these uh, first-round games or upsets in general, it either takes a lot of three-pointers to be hit by the team that pulls the upset, or it takes their star player to have a great game. And uh, when it came down to it, you know, uh, Bucknell hung tough, um, but I think Butler was just a better team today. And uh, really, those free throws uh, have to be a good thing for Brad Stevens to see. Uh, that's a that's a very, you know, it's kind of a win. A coach likes to win a game like that, where you play tough, you grind it out, and you hit free throws to win it. So, you know, Butler now advances, okay? They will play the winner of Marquette and Davidson. You know, if they play Marquette, that'll be an interesting game to watch because Marquette's the same kind of grinded-out team Butler is. Uh, it'll kind of be a basketball purist type game because it'll probably be a rough physical game uh, with a play here or there deciding the outcome. A lot of floor burns, a lot of diving on the floor in that one for sure if it should take place, uh, which many people expect it to. 68-56 Butler. We'll see them again on Saturday in the round of 32. Let me know what you guys think, what you thought of this game. Sort of ugly in the first half. I stayed with it, though, watched the second half, and it ended up being a, a pretty good game, I thought. Um, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. And, guys, I'll be uh, posting recaps and NCAA tournament videos throughout the whole tournament here. So be sure to subscribe to my channel here. This way, as I upload videos, they'll upload directly to your feed here on YouTube. Thanks again for listening, and have a great day.